Hello students, today we will discuss section B of SL paper 1, May 2018. Question 8. So Pablo drives Pablo drives to work. The probability that he leaves home before 7 is 3 over 4. If he leaves home before 7, the probability he will be late is 1 over 8, so this is information that we are going to use. If he leaves home at 7 or later, the probability he will be late for work is 5 over 8. So 1 8 is probability that he is late, so before he is late, so we should put it 1 over 8 here. Uh, this will be 7 over 8 and uh, 5 over 8 is given. So copy and complete the following free diagram. So this question will discuss in the solution section go to solution section here we have solution section let's have a look so I have redrawn this uh, table over here this is called tree diagram so A co copy and complete the following tree diagram at every node there shall be one probability so 1 3 over 4 so 1 mi minus 3 over 4 give us 1 over 4 at not B, 1 over 8, so this will be 7 over 8. Uh, at this node, let's call it C, 5 over 8, 3 over 8, so you see it is 1, so no problem. So we have completed the following tree diagram. Question B. Find the probability that Pablo leaves home before 7 and is late for work. So before 7 we go along this route and late we go along this route. So two events happen X and Y. And probability that these two events happened is product of this probability. So we should find probability that X and Y happened. So we should multiply probabilities and Sorry, I should. T okay, and we get 3 over 4, 1 over 8, 3 72. Done. Find the probability that Pablo is late for work. He is late for work for two routes the previous route, and also when he was late, uh, uh, so he left after 7 and he will late. So it is another root here. 1 over 4 and 5 over 8. So another root. So probability that he is late is sum of two probabilities of one root that he left before 7 and still is late and probability that he left after 7 and he is late. The worst probability we found beforehand 3, 7 to 2. Second probability we again find that as product of 1 over 4 and late 5 over 8. So we calculate this first term we know, second term we calculate, we add up this probability and we get, after simplification, we get 1 over 4. So this question is done. Given that Pablo is late, find the probability that he left home before 7. This is conditional probability. So find probability that he is late at the conditions that he left before 7. So there is a formula. So we should divide intersection of late and before by probability, probability, by probability of before. Probability of before is 1 over 4. Probability late and before we found 332 we divide two fractions when we divide we multiply second fraction uh, by a reciprocal of second fraction 
multiply numerator denominator we get 1232 after simplification 38 done two days next week Pablo will be will drive to work find the probability that he will be late at least once at least once means so here we have combination for two days for late at least once two times left late first not late, then late, then late, and not late. So we add up these probabilities, and probability of two events will be product of probability. So we have for the first combination probability of late times probability of late plus probability of late, probability not late, and probability not late first day and late second day. Uh, we multiply and add these probabilities and we get 716 so this question is done now we should return to our question so I put here separator and I go back to the questions so question 8 was done now we should do question 9 question 9 is about cylinder you should know formulas for cylinder they give us the volume of cylinder 2 pi centimeter cube and we should express h in r so height in terms of radius so given is volume formula for volume is hpr squared we substitute 20 to the left actually we rewrite formula for h we can substitute 20 for the 20 pi for the simplified two p's and we get relation h equals 20 over r squared so this question is done uh, the material for the base and top of the can cost 10 cents per centimeter cube uh, squared and the material for the curved side cost 8 centimeters find the total cost in cents and show that expression for the cost is the following let's do it first we find surface so area of surface is circumference times height height is 20 over r squared so it is 40 pi over r cost will be 8 cents per centimeter squared multiplied by amount value amount of cents of area we get 320 pi over r base and top base and top area is 2 pi r squared cost of top and boost together will be 10 cents by 2 pi r squared 20 pi r squared total cost 20 pi r squared plus 320 pi over r done uh, now question 10 let's look to question 10 question 10 Consider function the line L1 with equation y over s s equals 3x plus 1 is a tangent to the graph of f at x equal 1. Write down f derivative value of derivative of f at 2. Right, first of all at point 2 derivative equals gradient of tangent so gradient of tangent is 3 so derivative at this point is also 3 tangent and function intersect at x equals 0 it means that value of function equals so we should uh, next they want us to find the value of f at 2 so they intersect so they have the same value so value of function at 2 equals value of tangent at 2 equals 7 next question let us make it a bit bigger area okay uh, not very big okay right mm. so we have another function based on our previous function and p is a point of g where x equal 1 shows that the graph of g has a gradient of 6 at p so to find gradient we should find derivative right so derivative of 
function, comp complex composite function is derivative of first function multiplied by derivative of second function. Second function is inside x squared plus 1 to x chain differentiation. Then we evaluate uh, at x equal 1 and we get 6. So this question is done. So we show that gradient equals 6. So we have L2 tangent at new line, a new graph at point P. L1 tangent at of the previous graph at 2 intersects L1 at point Q. Find the y coordinate of Q. So two lines intersect. So line 1 we know, line 2 we know gradient, but we don't know this constant. We know that G and L2 intersect at x equals 1. So G at equal equals 1 equals F at 2 and equals second function at 1. So I substitute on the left the value of F2 which is 7. On the left I write down the expression with unknown C. C equals 1. So we found second function 6x plus 1. So we have now two lines. They intersect, so we should find intersection from system. So solution of this system is x, x equals 0 and y equals 1. So this is what they want us. They want us the value of y, not two coordinates. Question section is done. Thank you very much. Don't forget to put likes and subscribe to my channel. See you later.